This video is for people who believe that they can have an impact in any organization they work for. If you're not one of those, just keep the video. This video is useless for you. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comment below. What company wants? Well, basically all want the same. They want to hire leaders that can take their organization to the next level. They all want to be the one who hire the next superstar in the business. But the system, the recruiting system, is not designed to find these leaders. And let me explain. According to Professor Mukunda from Harvard Business School, the best leaders and the most effective leaders tend to be outsiders with not great deal of experience, while most of the well highly filtered leaders tend to fall in the middle of the pack. Of course, there are exceptions to both rules. There are some highly filtered leaders that can perform in a very high level and some filtered leaders that, well, basically most of them are crash and burn cases. But the crash and burn cases are not watching this video right now. So basically, unfiltered leaders are high risk, high reward. Filter leaders have deep knowledge and can be very effective in unstable situations. The problem is they can often adapt to extreme Sunday changes or basically are unable to disrupt the status quo, which an outsider feel free to do it. But the things that made the outsiders so effective, such as the ability to think differently and not to feel beholden to certain way of doing things often leads to terrible results. And this is why some companies pride themselves on training and grooming some people because they aren't looking for this raw diamond. And the better the training program the company has, the better the odds they will, we, they will be willing to invest in you if you lack experience. So, what can you do if you are a new company or a freelancer offering you services? First thing you have to remember, when you are doing a pitch, a sales presentation, a business presentation, or even an interview, a job interview, you are not selling your product, your company, your services, your resume, you're selling yourself. So the first thing you have to do is work on yourself. First, work on your leadership. You have to work on your uh, organization skills, the ability to inspire, the ability to motivate, your time management skills, uh, your conflict resolution skills, uh, the ability to delegate is so important because if you want to lead people, you know, you have to know how to distance yourself from the operational work and lead the team, team building spirit and the ability to connect emotionally with the team. These are very, very important for any good leader. Additionally, you have to work on your sales abilities. Uh, doesn't matter if you don't work on sales directly, you have to know how to pitch whatever you, you want to do, the other people to think about you, whatever ideas you have. And definitely on your networking skills because anytime you are trying to deal with someone you want to end up in good terms with them either in their meeting the business presentation or their job interview ends up in, in hiring you or not you you want to finish that in good terms and be able to call that these people later if you change your services you're offering or um, whatever you might need from there afterwards in the future in these three abilities at least you have to work if you are trying to get new clients or get jobs um, or get uh, promotions if you don't have the experience and the works required the job required specifically second thing you have to do or stop doing is calling out your lack of experience for the hiring manager Stop saying things like, despite my limited experience with marketing, or although I don't have the experience directly managing people, uh, or things like, well, I only have experience doing administrative tasks, don't do it. That is what I call digging your own grave. 
use instead. I'm excited to parlay my experience in PR to a more analytical marketing position. Or I'm ready to take the next step in my career, which is management. I'm eager to translate my success in administrative positions to a more client-focused role. Focus on way to transfer whatever experience you had before into the job you intend to get. The lack of experience, if it's important at all, will be addressed by the hiring manager. Don't in it dig your own grave. I cannot stress this enough, especially if you are not prepared to respond properly. If you feel like you got transferable experience that the interview isn't factoring in, start by asking questions, inquiry about the organization's biggest challenges, top goals, and immediate priorities for the person they hire. Be genuine and curious, and then, if appropriate, present uh, your background or ideas in a way that doesn't make the people feel like you are ripping on how they operate. Instead, generally leads to whatever uh, ideas or complementary background provide a great value for the overall organization. Third thing to do guys is to try to prospect the companies that are known for innovation and that are always looking, trying to do things differently. And to be honest, also the companies that are in deep problems because they need desperate measurements, but I'm not going to talk about that. In these organizations, uh, experience could actually be a drawback because a leader uh, have a tons of experience. That's precisely what prevents you from approaching situation any differently than other experienced people would. These companies are always looking for the best leader and they think that they, that this leader is the one who makes decisions that no one else could and those decisions will also work, of course. And why? It's because they are always fighting for dominance and survival. And if you want to grow dominant, you need a unfiltered leader. Someone who will think differently and take risks. Risk taking is a problem and it might not pay off. That's why some companies don't like uh, this kind of leader and you can't change that. What you can change is the perception of who you are trying to impress. If you can, can convince them to think that given the situation you will have the potential to be that superstar, they will oversee any lack of experience, any minor lack of experience, even if they are not the company that hired this kind of leaders. Experience filter leaders will usually be, basically uh, will do the same decisions over and over. If they are good, even if they are good decisions, they are decisions that any other leader will make. They, they will basically do the same. And don't get me wrong, you can be a good leader, you can be a great leader, but you won't have an impact in the industry if there are another 100 or 1000 great leaders that will do exactly the same you would. And in this case, no, it doesn't matter who the company hires at this point because anyone will present the same results. And this is why companies um, put these uh, requirements on the uh, while recruiting because they will know basically in this range, th this is what I get with these people. They, they have this kind of experience and this amount of experience so I will get this result. I will play it safe. So it's your task to convince them that Given the situation, you will do differently from any other, but you will do good and you will be the superstar that everybody wants. And that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for making it to the end. If you like the video, hit the like button, share with your friends, comment below if you are trying to get new clients and if you have a new business or if you're trying to get a management position but you don't have the experience in this video is what's helpful for you or what 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 are you doing what are your tips for uh, to get this done and i hope you like the video i hope you find this helpful so thank you guys and until the next wednesday this is civil media tv we upload videos every wednesday so remember to subscribe like and leave your comment below